Where do you invest your money? Where do I invest my money? We haven't, we haven't talked about uh, any investments. I don't invest my money anywhere. Um, like I, I need to, I need to do more investments for sure. Um, and I would love to talk to you about, uh, you know, where, where to do that and, and whatnot. You gave me a good, some good advice about, uh, the credit card. Hmm. So I never had a credit card. I never really did anything with a credit card, but then you gave me a uh, good name of a credit card. I got it. And, and, uh, now, yeah, I get, I get points for stuff. Wasn't we, financial advice. You no, know, that's definitely not financial advice, but for credit cards, you, your, your spend is at such a level where you could get free trips anywhere in the world with credit card points. Yeah. So I would recommend looking over it every eight months or so, mm -hmm. getting a new card. Okay. There are so many great sign-up bonuses right now mm -hmm. that you could get two to three grand worth of free travel okay. for five minutes of work. Cool. Yeah. So Work, Works for me. Um, but as far as investments, uh, I'm, I've been looking into real estate and the usual like mutual funds and stuff like that. I I'm, I'm super boring when it comes to stuff like that. I would, I would never like day trade or I don't have any crypto, uh, cause I just don't know enough about those things. Um, so, I mean, if you have any, you know, index epic, funds, yeah, just index funds. honestly, I would, I would probably just take a portion of your income every month, index fund it. Mm -hmm. long term and that's it mm -hmm. and then the index fund is 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 what what is that was that you could just do a total market index fund so total you get a little market. bit of everything like s&p 500 or s&p like yeah that. but that's just u.s based historically that's done well but mm -hmm. it doesn't mean it's going to do well in the future and it's total like year world. over year we're like eight percent or something give or take okay some years some decades it's as low as three to four some decades as high as 15 percent somewhere okay. around there that's it all right but otherwise i mean it seems like you're doing well enough just Buying McLarens, buying really dilapidated, crashed cars, fixing them up, doing well on your channel. And you'll see a higher ROI doing that than I think just about anything else.